Hello everyone, Bagar is here with another video. In this video, we are going to have an unboxing and reviewing of Nikon 18240mm AFS f3.5 to 5.6G DXED VR lens in depth review. Inside the box, well, it was just the lens itself, the only lonely lens, and it wasn't any accessory in the box, such as hood or pouch. Well, it's a kit lens though. This is Nikon's DX lens and it's meant for crop sensor cameras such as D300 series, D500 and D700 and etc. We will test it in D7200. This is a compact lens from shooting wide angle to telephoto. And as we said, this is a DX lens. So it is a 1.5 time crop factor, mean that the 140mm focal lengths became approximately 210 mm. VRO vibration reduction technology system helps image stabilization for sharper handheld photos and videos. Of course, this is an AFS lens, meaning that it has a silent wave autofocus motor for ultra fast and ultra quiet autofocusing. We will test it at the end of the video. On the lens, we have a quiet small focusing ring and zoom ring is big and it moves nice and smooth. Hmm, interesting. As we notice, it has an internal focusing system, but the zoom is external. On the side of the lens, there are two switch buttons. The first one is a manual to automatic focus switch button, and the second is VR or vibration on and off switch button and the lens itself it's about 487 grams uh, in front of the lens we have a 67 millimeter cab so we can use any 67 millimeter filters here I use a Nikon UV 67 millimeter filter to protect the lens Mentioning that I almost always have a lens hood on my camera and for this lens, the 18 to 140 mm I bought HB32 plastic lens hood, which designed for this lens. Let me load it on the lens and that's how does it looks like with the lens hood. The purpose of the hood is first reducing the lens flare and second protecting the lens from any damages. But the main purpose of the lens hood is to reducing the lens flare, so better use it. And of course, it became a handsome A. By the way, like most of the lens, we can invert the hood and switch it on the lens to carry easily everywhere or put it in any bags with the lens. So we can use it anytime we need it. Just switch it, invert it. And then load it on the lens. On the back of the lens, we have a metal mount, which it is really good, better than plastic mount. And around the metal mount, we can see a rubber o ring to give a dust protection as we attached onto the camera. And it has a seven aperture blade, included 17 elements in 12 groups. Let me attach the lens on the camera, the Nikon D7200, and see how does it looks like. There we go. Now, as you see, this is with the lens hood. And without the lens hood. Let me load it back. Yeah, that's it. Maximum aperture of this lens goes from f3.5 to 5.6. Let's see it on the camera. Here it is. In 18mm, the maximum is f3.5. And in 140, the maximum is 5.6. So that was the maximum aperture. But about the minimum aperture. In 18mm, the minimum aperture is f22. And in 140 is f36, so 
the minimum aperture is f22 up to 36. This lens gives you the freedom to shoot landscape, telephoto, portrait and more. Now ready to see the focusing speed, however we can see the focusing noise too. There we go, and ready to see the zoom range of the lens from 18 to 140. Now we're in 18 millimeter. 35, 70, and 140. Let's get back. 18 millimeter, and now 140. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Have a great shooty day!